inflation, recession, stock market crashing, bubble bursting. I feel like we're in one of those old episodes of uh, Batman and Robin where you got zing, pow, bam, whap. The question that I am getting asked relentlessly, what the heck is happening? <laughs> Welcome to my mid-year 2022 market update as it relates to real estate uh, and how timely is it with uh, the shift that we have seen in the real estate market here in the past month or so. Uh, being flooded with similar questions from all of you and so I figured now would be a great time to address those. I'm going to hit three main points today. Each one of these three main points could be its own video, which we are in fact going to do, uh, and kind of hit each one in a little bit more depth. So for today, we're gonna to kind of take a, a helicopter aerial view of the real estate terrain uh, to give you a few bullet points on each one of these items and give you some reassurances. Now there's a lot of emotion in the market. There's a lot of emotion with the, the economy and what's happening and uh, people are, are confused and we're getting all these media sound bites and everything. And so my goal is to give you just the straight facts and then you can take those with you to make the best decision or decisions for you and your family. Okay, so let's start off with number one, that big, bad, dirty, ugly word, recession. Even hearing that probably evoked some emotion, made your stomach turn a little bit because many of us relate recession back to what happened in 2008, 2009, the Great Recession. Some would even call it a depression. That was a bit of an anomaly. So let's look at, first of all, what is a recession? A recession is two back-to-back -back quarters of negative growth in our economy. Second point, is that the average recession actually lasts less than 11 months. Okay, so you've got two negative quarters, which quarter one of 2022 was negative. We just wrapped up second quarter of 2022. For easy math and, and drawing a picture of what I'm trying to paint, let's just assume it takes a month to get the data for second quarter. And now let's assume that we had a, a second quarter of negative growth in our economy. We're already seven months in to what typically lasts less than 11 months. So I know recession's a big, dirty, ugly word. We all have these emotions from what happened before. What I will also would like to point out, and we'll go into a further discussion, what happened in the recession of 2008 and 9 is completely different than what we are experiencing now. The emotions feel the same, the reasoning is different. So let's go to item two on our list and that is the other dirty word that we're all feeling and that is inflation. We're feeling it at the pump, we're feeling it at the grocery store. It is the silent killer of our finances. So something to definitely be aware of. Now the way our government tries to curb uh, inflation is with our, the Federal Reserve and they, they increase the rates to try to get their arms around this. Uh, as of the recording of this, we just hit 9.1% inflation, uh, which is enormous and again, we are all feeling it. The Federal Reserve here several weeks ago in one fell swoop, the biggest, single biggest increase uh, in one day in 28 years, 28 years. So let's get on to item number three. The question that I am most asked about and everybody seems to have an opinion on. Now I'm going to preface this by saying I don't have a crystal ball. Nobody has a crystal ball. All we can do is look at historics, take the emotion out, put the data in, look at history, and see what it tells us. 2008 and this, what we're experiencing now, are two separate things. Going back to how uh, it felt with the recession, it feels similar in our gut, but it's very important to know the distinction, which we are gonna dive into in that future video. Is the bubble gonna burst? No, it's all a supply and demand deal. And some of this does relate back to uh, what happened in 2008 to about 2012 across this country. And we're still playing catch up and some other factors that we're going to talk about in that video of is the market going to burst but in short order no for those of you who have refinanced 
purchased in the past several years, congratulations. Well done. It was a fantastic time to uh, be a buyer when you could get it home because you're getting some fabulously low rates. You've experienced 10 years of appreciation in two years, uh, but that is not normal. So now we're back to a normal market and I'm excited for that. This is where experience in the industry is going to uh, far outweigh anything else. Again, my goal is to just give you the data to explore it. We want to take the emotion out because with emotion, oftentimes we do not make the best decisions in life. And once again, as always, thank you so much for your business, your referrals. It is the gold standard of how to do business because you are willing to put your name to mine, which I do not take lightly. And it allows me the time to focus on my craft to become the best negotiator, the best marketer, uh, to serve you and your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Sean Hackney, Next Home Northwest, living here in Bellingham, Washington.